Yo, what's up guys? Big J here. Or Big J. Now, uh, I know it's been a couple of days since I've done a, a video before. I did a video kind of uh, uh, doing a mud jug unboxing. And um, now, we've got another video we're going to do. So, uh, we got a new dip to try. Just got it today. And ladies and gentlemen, I introduce it to you. Outlaw Rambling Root Beer. Now, I have not opened these. I got two of them. I have not opened them. I just took them out of the packaging. Uh, so, what we're going to do. Now, this is a limited time uh, dip for now. Uh, there's Aiden in the background. Hello. <coughs> Thank you, sir. Okay. All right. Got my coffee. Later, everyone. <laughs> He's got a PS4, so, yeah. So, we're gonna give us a crack here and. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Alright. So, I do think this is non tobacco now. Um. I think his stuff's all tobacco free. So, nice little look there. There you go. Whoa. <laughs> hey, Aiden. Come here, dude. All right, this kid is a, like a root beer aficionado. Do you smell this? Smell how good that smells. That smells like real root beer. <laughs> no joke. It doesn't smell like that one crack Yeah. Teeth are getting worse. Uh, Alright. So. Oh, yeah. Well, let's get us a pinch. And see. Ooh, where, where can we... Yeah, no, I gotta get my teeth fixed, which I'm eventually gonna do. Uh, Alright. And doing this don't really help much. Alright, so let's get us a, get us a good pinch. Alright. Good size pinch. Alright, close it back up. Since it is aloe's dip, damn. <laughs> so, dude, that tastes just like A and W root beer, like the sweetness. Um, you know where uh, his stuff's non-tobacco. I do believe. He's not doing tobacco anymore. I think it's to non tobacco, just nicotine dip. Uh, let's check on his website. Just double check and make a show. But I will tell you this this shit is good. It is. Huh. Let's see. I'm at all spurs, man. This shit is good. It it's not harsh. It's not like overpowering. Oh yeah, it is tobacco free. Nice. That is insane. All right. So my first, you know, first thing is the smell. To me, smell of dip. Usually, it's going to taste like it smells. Um, you know, I dip Copenhagen wintergreen. Uh, the only reason why I dip Copenhagen wintergreen is I haven't found a wintergreen that I like 
Grizzly's okay. Uh, Grizzly tears my gums up some. So I've been sticking with, uh, you know, them, even though they're the of Diff World because of what they did out on them. I don't, I don't condone what they did. To me, what they did was stupid, but, you know. But, dude, this stuff tastes great. Um, at first, in the at first taste, it tastes like uh, bark root beer, like the non sweet root beer. And then once you let it sit for a minute, A and W all the way. A and W is really sweet uh, for root beer. Um, I just think it's so funny. This dude for years said the flavored dip is for like it's lip gloss, not dip. You know, and he wasn't a wintergreen guy for a long time. He was a nat he was a straighter natty. And now all his now all his dips are flavored, but they are so damn good. Um, like Southern Sweet Tea, this that's still my favorite. Southern Sweet Tea would have to be my all time favorite outlaw dip. I've had the luxury and I've had the privilege, um, you know, to try all the outlaw dips. I've tried the watermelon, I've tried the lucky lipper, I tried a bad ass bourbon. Uh, oh wait, no, I haven't tried the yellow blend yet, but I, I'm not big on pineapple, so I may one time get a can in the future just to say I could try it. I've tried them all. Um, but I've tried the Lucky Lipper, tried the watermelon, badass bourbon, and now the root beer. You know, within like a two year span, year span, two year span, this guy's come out with five flavors of dip and you know, some of these companies take two to three years to come out with a different variation of a flavor that they had. Um, you know, because I mean, there for a while, wintergreen really wasn't thought of as a dip. It was all natural and straights and everything. They Sometimes they have mint um, and everything like that. But, you know, me, I'm a wintergreen dipper. I love wintergreen. But, you know, it's hard to find an alternative to tobacco that does not take like taste like mint leaves every everything i've tried has tasted like mint leaves um that's been you know nicotine but not tobacco not this this does not taste nothing like mint leaves this tastes like fucking root beer it's crazy um you know I me mean? i like to leave a dip i leave a dip in for a while um there's sometimes there's been times i let the dip in for two or three hours and not realize it there's times i let the dip in for five minutes especially when i'm sick um i leave a dip in for like four or five minutes my sinuses will start draining and i'll start gagging or where you spit and it dries out your throat i'll be so damn my throat will be so dry i start coughing and then it'll just be terrible so um with this you know this you know, this dip that Outlaw has came out with is fucking amazing. Um, you know, the badass bourbon, you know, I like bourbon, I like whiskey, uh, you know, and I love the smell of it, I love the flavor. The watermelon is kind of different for me. Um, no, I'm not big on watermelon like stuff. I like watermelon, um, but it's one of the first things that's been branded watermelon. And it tastes like fucking watermelon. It don't taste... Because watermelon has that kind of watery sweet taste. Some candies you try or some gummies or whatever. It tastes nothing like watermelon. Um, the Southern Sweet Tea, to me, that is spot on with the taste of Southern Sweet Tea. I'm a big sweet tea guy. Southern Sweet Tea guy. Uh, so, uh, Mrs., you know, our family likes our, our Southern Sweet Tea. Um, the Lucky Lipper... No, I haven't had Mountain Dew in a while. I mean, I started drinking uh, Mountain Dew Zero. Um, no, because I... What? Why not? <laughs> I mean, I will be quitting drinking here after a while. I just got my last two six-packs today. Um, but... Sorry, I got something on my... How about fucking hurts? Uh, but yeah, this is a... Uh, this is amazing. You know, it the texture's great. It still reminds me of... You know, I, I mean... The tough guy chew is going away. Um, I saw 
a video where he was going to talk about it, but I hadn't seen the video itself of him talking about it. I'm going to have to try to find that on his videos. Um, cause there was a time that I didn't watch YouTube because I was just working or I was sick. And I just laid around. I couldn't watch anything. Um, or I was like stuck watching like a certain type of video and I just didn't get off anything but that type of video. Um, but I will say this, man, you know, Outlaw, I know you probably will never watch this or anything, man, but thank you for all the great flavors. This is amazing. I can't wait for you to get your machine fixed and all the other dips come around. Um, I feel kind of stupid asking him if I asked, I, t I tweeted him and asked him about Tough Guy and I didn't realize it was gone until I saw the video. Um, because I'm, you know, I'm kind of like lacking on catching up with everything. <laughs> But, um, you know, if Outlaw, you see this, man, keep up the great work. A Ramblin' Root Beer, definitely a keep in my book. Uh, that's just my opinion, though, but I would definitely keep it. Um, I'll try to tweak it a little bit to uh, make the flavor last a little bit longer. Um, I've only had it in for a couple, like, what, five, about ten minutes. And some dips keeps this flavor longer than that. Um... That's me. I mean, you shuffle it around, of course. You still take a little taste of it, but the the initial smell, initial taste, keep it. Pinchability is great, man. These dips that you're doing are amazing. Um, I can't wait to get everything fixed so I can give me some Southern sweet tea and some Lucky Lipper and, some, of course, some badass bourbon. And I'll guess I, I'll try the yellow blend as well once I, you get more of it. But, uh, you no, know, definitely keep it up, man. Definitely going to stick with you as uh, my dip uh, company once everything gets set up to where I can purchase it on the rig, you know. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so that's my Ben Rye review, guys. Um, if you're uh, looking for a, an alternative to tobacco dip, outlaw dip's the way to go. Um, I mean, it's not every day you see a non-tobacco dip look this good, smell that good, pinch that good, stay together that good, and... I mean, you know, and you get a good little buzz off of it. Um, definitely a better buzz than Copenhagen and all them. Uh, so definitely keep up the good work, man. I really appreciate it. Amazing, amazing work on these dips. And uh, I look forward to seeing if you come out with any flavors. Um, if you do come out with another flavor eventually, I'll, I'll tweet you one day if I come up with a flavor idea. <laughs> but you know what? I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If uh, you like this content, you know, subscribe, hit the bell for notification. I'm going to try to do more videos here uh, in the near future, uh, especially some weight loss videos. I'm getting everything up and going. I'm going to do a video on my supplements that I take again uh, because I, re I take a lot of supplements now, uh, but they're all doctor approved. So, um, no, thank you guys uh, so much uh, for watching. Cheers. And uh, peace out.